Hi there. In this video we are going to learn about geological landforms. For more such video, don't forget to subscribe. So, let's start today's topic. Geological landforms. We can simply say structures made by geological elements such as water, wind, glacier, etc. The definition is The geomorphic process are all those physical and chemical changes which affect a modification of the Earth's surface. Now we have to learn what are geomorphic agents? Geomorphic agent is any natural medium capable of eroding and transporting earth material. In this video we are going to start with fluvial landforms. Are geomorphic agents river stream? Landform and geologic feature resulting from stream deposition. Floodplain and associated features. Channel bar. Point par. Natural levees. Meander belt deposits. Back swamp deposits. Braided stream deposits. Alluvial fan deposits. Deltaic plain deposits. Let's start with the fluid plain deposits. First of all, what is a flood plain? A fluid plain or flood plain is an area of land adjacent to a stream or river that stretches from the banks of its channel to the base of the enclosing valley walls and experiences flooding during periods of high discharge. When a river breaks its banks and floods, it leaves behind layers of unconsolidated sediments like alluvium, silt, sand, clay, and some amount of gravels. These are accumulations of sand, gravel, loam, silt, and or clay, and are often important aquifers. Geologically ancient fluid plains are often represented in the landscape by fluvial terraces. These are old fluid plains that remain relatively high above the present fluid plain and indicate former courses of a stream. Channel bar deposits. Channel bar mid channel bars are landforms in a river that begin to form when the discharge is low and the river is forced to take the route of less resistance by means of flowing in locations of lowest elevation. They are commonly composed of sand or gravel and typically occur in braided rivers. Point bar deposits. A point bar is a depositional feature made of sand and gravel that accumulates on the inside bend of streams and rivers. Point bar, meander bars, are found on the convex side of meander and grow by individual increments outward into the meander curve. Point bars are composed of sediment that is well sorted and typically reflects the overall capacity of the stream. Natural levees deposits. Natural levees are naturally occurring ridge running parallel to river course. They are highest near the river and slope gradually away from it. It is formed due to sudden loss in transporting power when a river floods its bank. Meandering belt deposits a meander. Meander, in general, is a sinuous water course or bend in the river course. A meander is formed when the moving water in a stream erodes the outer banks and widens its valley 
and the inner part of the river has less energy and deposits what it is carrying. The result is a snaking pattern as the stream meanders back and forth across its down valley axis. When a meander gets cut off from the main stream, an oxbow lake is formed. Back Swamp Deposits Back swamps usually lie behind a stream in floodplain behind the natural levees. They consist of extensive layer of silt and clay. Braided Stream Deposit A braided river is a channel that consists of a network of small channels separated by small and often temporary islands called braid bars. Braided streams occur in rivers with high slope and or large sediment load. Braided channels are also typical of environments that dramatically decrease channel depth and consequently channel velocity. Alluvial fan deposits An alluvial fan is a fan or cone-shaped deposit of sediment built up by streams. As a stream's gradient decreases, it drops coarse-grained material. This reduces the capacity of the channel and forces it to change direction and gradually build up a slightly mounded or shallow conical fan shape. The deposits are usually poorly sorted. Delta deposits A river delta is a landform that is formed at the mouth of a river, where the river flows into an ocean, sea estuary, lake, or reservoir. River deltas form when a river carrying sediment reaches either 1. A body of standing water, such as a lake, ocean, or reservoir, 2. River that cannot remove the sediment quickly enough to stop delta formation, or 3. An inland region where the water spreads out and deposits sediments. The river's velocity decreases rapidly causing it to deposit the majority of its load. That's it for this video. For more such video, don't forget to subscribe.